Um, you know, it was about, it seems like a lifetime ago yeah. that Jocelyn and I got together. It was actually January of 2020 uh -huh. and over at the Liberty Center of Youth. And being my year as president, I said, hey, I've got a $6,000 grant. Can you spend it? Jocelyn said, oh yeah, I can find a way to spend that. <laughs> and she came up with this uh, kayak launch and 10 kayaks for the Dave Youth uh, Center. She's since moved on. I've moved on. Seems like everybody's moved on. But uh, uh, it's, it's been a great thing. One thing I think the pandemic taught us more than anything is the importance of outdoor activities and fun things to do outside. And this is perfect for this, you know. Uh, and, and it's been a really great thing. And one of the things that this ha happens that uh, because of the, they're going to the youth center, a lot of kids that'll never have a chance to be in a kayak will get a chance to be in a kayak now. So that, that is great. This is for the public. You can have, bring your own kayak, but there's also kayaks through the youth center. Um, I want to thank uh, Rotary District 7090, which is, uh, our Rotary Club is a part of. They're the ones that have these district grants, and it's been really great for our community. There's a lot of, a lot of collaboration. You know, my days at the chamber, I always know that there's a, a lot of collab collaboration between different groups in this county. We always really work well together, and this is another perfect example. We've had, uh, you know, Jocelyn Sikorsky in, in the Batavia Youth Center. Uh, we worked with them on that. Uh, Rachel Tabelski and Lisa Casey from the City of Batavia, they're very helpful, and uh, they purchased everything, actually, and uh, so that they took care of that for us. Uh, Jay Gazelle and Matt Lander is the county, allowing us to put this in, in the county park here. This is a county park here, uh, DeWitt Park and uh, uh, Rob Walker and the YW, YMCA. They are uh, helping with the lifeguard training for this. That was part of the purchase, as well as the, the lifeguard, life jackets. Uh, Paul Siskowski, Paul is the, uh, he's the guru on how to get the uh, uh, 7090 district grant. grants. He knows how to do it, and so he made, got us through all the red tape of that, because there's a lot of red tape to do it, which we're still not done red with. Red tape. <laughs> yeah, red tape like that, so. Uh, and, very special thanks to uh, Paul Osborne from the county. Uh, Paul, uh, not you know, we never even asked him to build this trailer for those uh, these uh, uh, kayaks. And it's a great trailer, so they'll be housed over at the county building, with uh, county highway department over there, which is right next door, so it'll be easy to access. He helped us. Uh, he, he put this in so you know it's safe. A lot of Rotarians help, but they just kind of let us screw in a couple of things, so we didn't really screw it up. So it is safe because Paul and his guys did a great job, and, and let, they let us make us believe that we were really helping last week. So, But it was freezing. It was worth it. Uh, so I want to thank everybody for that, and uh, with that, I think we can do the ribbon cut. Three, two, one, cut. Hey. Oh, wow, he's really cut. <laughs> That's what everybody says. <laughs>